What's going on guys? Stiff back on that Mutt15 gameplay and today we have a special 50k coin game against Cookie Boy. If you guys don't know who Cookie Boy is, I highly recommend checking out his channel. He does a lot of pack openings, gameplays, and wager matches on Madden. Also think he dabbles in 2k I believe. Click in the upper right hand annotation to subscribe to his channel. I highly recommend doing it. Dude is a real humble guy. Really great YouTuber. He's actually from the East Coast, uh, the Bronx to be more specific, which is actually pretty cool because Mead Lights and Fiasco all are from that uh, part of the country, the East Coast. So anyway, make sure you guys just go check out his channel. Tell him Stiff sent you. And now let's get back. Let's actually get into this 50K wager match. So uh, after actually playing this game, I noticed that he's got like a specific defense, which is actually really cool. Uh, it's the Sugar defense. And... Uh, it's actually pretty unique because it's not a lot of things that a lot of people actually run. You know, you run into a lot of people running like 46 normal, maybe 4-3 wide 9, but he runs his own little sugar defense. And if you guys didn't notice, we actually got a new QB, not a new QB, but for this uh, slot offset scheme, we actually got the Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh shit, as we fumble right there. Luckily to fall back on that, but anyway, just a little lineup update. We got Antonio Brown QB just to fill him in that slot offset because when we run that triple option, he's so dangerous. So anyway, we got a first and 10 coming up. We try going with the screen to Jamal Charles. We don't really get much. And so we got second and seven. We're going to try and hit this smoke screen. We end up hitting Antonio Brown with the smoke screen, get a good 15-yard gain. We are down to the seven-yard line, and let's hit it up to Dez Bryant. Let's go on the little post route, getting him for six Dez. Next, hopefully next time he puts up the X. I love when he puts up the X. That's probably one of my favorite. That's not my favorite move. My favorite move is Antonio Brown's, like, not salsa dance, but, like, he. I don't even know what the hell he does. If anybody in the comment section can tell me what he does for a dance, I would be greatly appreciated for that because I love it. But then second would probably be um, uh, Des Bryant's uh, throwing up the X. So anyway, we got a first and ten right here. And my team right now is laying the wood. <laughs> oh my god. Khalil Max laying the boom. Uh, Clay Matthews laying the boom. We we're going to have to jar out a fumble soon. Hopefully. I mean, we already caused an injury. So anyway, he p actually ends up picking up uh, the first down. I was talking to him during the game, too, and it's actually the 99 Po Jackson. I was like, God, what I would do for that guy on my team. So he's got a little man beater to the left side. I got to try and keep that in my back pop pocket so I know not to really run man as much. Try and mix it in but not run it too much because he's got a man beater to the left. Uh, so we're just going to run a little 46 normal, see if we can get anything going. He, he's pretty much dotting up my whole my whole defense right now. But, you know, first drive, it's kind of it's hard to uh, assess what my opponent's offense is going to be. So usually the first drive is going to be a little tricky because you're not really sure what to catch on to and stuff like that. So we get him to a second and six. He goes with the play action, hits the drag. Very good read by Cookie Boy. Brings it to the two-minute warning. And we're going to run some man defense. And just like I said before, he's got man beaters on the left side. Torches me, gets in for six, and it is a seven-all game. Looking pretty good going into the uh, second half. So we got two minutes remaining. Trying to score last. Right there we thread the needle. Uh, he actually tipped that ball. And Dez actually came out with it somehow. And it was pretty lucky on my part. I really could have put in the swing of things. We get a third and two. We go with Ahmad Green. Put in a nice little spin move. And now we go to Antonio Brown again. Breaks the tackle but goes out of bounds. And we are in business with a minute left. Another good spin move by Ahmad Green. Just hitting him with those dives at the middle. What was so hard about this game is he runs that sugar defense. Because I can't, I, you can't run traps with the sugar defense. It's really actually hard to run up the middle because those two linebackers are in those A-gaps. So it's kind of hard to run up the middle. And every time you would try and bring one of those linebackers from the A-gap, that's when I would actually try and run it up the middle. But other than that, oh, look at that spin move by Antonio Brown. That's why I picked him up. It was a perfect match. And actually the best part, as we throw this dot by Des Bryant. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this spec catch animation. Put up the X, Des. Let's go. As we go in for six. And look at him put up the X. Let's go. I was super pumped about that because it was 12 seconds left before the end of half. We actually get six. We didn't. He didn't hold us to three, which is really good. And right here, can we get the pick? Give me that. No, we cannot get the pick. 
Six seconds left. I'm not really too worried. He just goes with a little read option. But what I was saying about Antonio Brown before is they don't look at him as a run first quarterback just because he's a wide receiver. So every time I run the read option, they collapse on the running back and I could just keep it with Antonio Brown who has 95 speed or I can pitch it to my running back. That's what's so great about having him in that position. And he's like 15K. I got him for 15K. So anyway, uh, coming out of half, we put in a big hit on one of his guys. He doesn't end up fumbling. Uh, good luck trying to put a big hit on Bo Jackson. Every time I put a big hit on Bo Jackson, he never fumbles. And look at this trickery. Look at this. Oh, my God. He does the flea flicker. I, I even remember I remember that play specifically because I, I pass committed. Oh, as he threads the needle right there. I pass committed, and they still didn't go after the guy. Good play by him, and my guy almost jumped her out, but he, he had to throw it in there, and I can't believe he caught me with it, but good play by him. So we end up getting to a third and three situation. He's going with the screen, gets an awful animation by his wide receiver. He just stopped, and I hate those animations. So it's fourth and five. We've got to get a stop, and we end up getting the stop. So turnover on downs. We uh, regain back control of the ball on the offensive side. Uh, try hitting him with the dive at the middle. Try hitting him with a quick base. And we end up getting a little spinny with him with the mod green. Get the first down. Uh, third quarter, minute left. Tr just trying to just waste clock. And, you know, if I settle for a field goal, it's two possessions. I'm pretty happy. My defense is playing pretty spectacular right now, I think. A couple, uh, we're really big hitting the hell out of his team. Um, he's just threading the needle with a couple of passes. Right there, he tries getting the strip animation. But we actually get ended up getting tackled to the ground. So first and ten. Try going with a PA slots. Money play doesn't work. He was on that play all game. So we got a second and ten. Try running a flood out of bunch open. Doesn't work. I don't even know what the hell I was trying to do. I was trying to make something happen with Troy Aikman. Wasn't working. Luckily I did not fumble. Third and twelve. I'm just trying to get back some. And he was actually going to lurk that drag. But my but my drag got caught up in a in a blocker and it threw off the whole timing. He might have it was luckily lucky on my part because he would have jumped that route, but it got delayed somehow. But we settled for for three, up two possessions. Cannot complain. Starts off his uh, ensuing possession with a screen pass to Bo Jackson and goes right back to him. See, I'm I'm hitting him. I'm trying. I'm laying hit sticks on him. He's just not getting hit. <laughs> just Bo Jackson just does not like to get hit. So, we end up getting a crucial sack. Third and 16 coming up. And try sending the heat off the right side. We end up getting the heat, but gets it off in time. Coming with a fourth and five play. See if we can lock down again like we did last drive. Fourth and five. We're going to be sending heat off the right side again. He has a drag, and he gets an incomplete pass. We uh, jarred the ball loose. Turnover on downs, and woohoo! We get the ball back. We're running with Antonio Brown, just chugging people off. Uh, <laughs> Antonio Brown's clutching it on my end. My end, put him in that split slot for uh, the slot offset. I'm sorry, uh, formation just doing work that way. We end up getting a first down. We try throwing dots. <laughs> Look at Antonio Brown throwing dots. We throw up Dez four six. He just hey hey hey. <laughs> He's in the game. Might as well just use him. Uh, so we end up going up 24 7. He gets the ball back, and on the kickoff, boom! Lights out! <laughs> we get a big hit fumble. We've been hitting them so hard this whole game. Um, that's why I never take out fumbles just because, or take out kickoffs just for that sole factor. It's like risk reward. The, t the amount of times I've played this game, the amount of times I've actually returned a kickoff, I've probably returned five kickoffs and have probably tried taking back um, so many more and have fumbled in the process I just fair catch I learned my lesson too many times so we end up getting the fumble uh, we knock off a couple plays don't really work try just taking away some of the clock which we do we settle for three and there's basically just a minute left so we're looking really good for this uh, wager match right now we get good pressure on him on first down he's got second down coming up we're gonna he's gonna end up trying to go with Bo Jackson to the left side with a counter player strong power to the left gets eight yards third and two ooh could we get a better animation Khalil let's go so fourth and two this is basically the game and oh Cam Daddy what are you doing oh he was so close to getting that just tipping it would have done well because it was fourth and two would have been turnover and downs. 
Anyway, he, we don't get the turnover. First down, he playmakers his guy up. Or that was a wheel route, I'm sorry. Playmake, or wheels his guy up. Uh, gets the first down, and right here, he catches us in man coverage and beats us deep. I actually rewinded that, and it was actually a wheel route he was in. That's why he beat that man coverage, but good play on him. So it comes down to this, six seconds left. He goes with the onside, but does not get it. We are going to end up taking this game against Cookie Boy. Real solid opponent, like that sugar defense that he was in. Um, I really want that Bo Jackson that he has, but anyway, we take the 50K home. Uh, shout out to my dude Cookie Boy. Make sure you guys click that uh, annotation in the upper right-hand corner to go subscribe to him. It will be an annotation on the le upper left-hand corner to subscribe to us, guys. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you the card that's going to be uh, be that was put up. Just showing you guys that put it up for 50K and he's going to end up buying it. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to leave an annotation to subscribe to this channel. Till next time, guys. Adio.